not calling your mates, Rosie. I mean, the majority of them are perfectly all right as far as they go. It's just in some ways they don't quite go far enough. What does that mean? Well, I'm not blaming them. It's not their fault. And nor do I blame their parents, really, that much. I mean, people like that are just caught up in this endless cycle, like father, like son, and on and on forever. I mean, you only have to look across the road to see how true that is. So, don't start all that again. No, I'm just pointing out the obvious, Kevin, that at Oak Hill she'll have a, a richer selection of friends to choose from. That's all I'm saying. I'm off out. Where are you going? Charmaine's. Is that all right? Well, there's nothing wrong with Charmaine, not really. Oh, thanks, Mum. I'll put you up for your tea. I'm not trying to cut her off from her old friends, Kevin. We're just offering her a wider selection, that's all. My friends are all right, Mum. Oh, your friends are perfectly fine, Sophie. Don't give it another thought. All right, I'll go pick Madam up. Well, it'll be a bit yet, so perhaps you could pick us up a nice bottle of wine on your way. What for? Well, it can make a meal, Kev. I'll tell you what will make a meal. You just lay off this old kill number for five minutes. Are you with me on this or not? Because we've got a very important meeting tomorrow and I need to know that you'll be by my side. We have to show them that we're exactly the kind of parents that they want at their school. Oh, I'm sorry, my mistake. I thought the school was for the kids, not the parents. Don't be clever, you know what I mean? You won't go slamming doors when you're older, will you, Sophie? It's such an unnecessary habit. <laughs> 